go into looking at the accessories. So this is the pouch of accessories that come with the machine. Now, as we mentioned, these big spool caps sit down here so that you have a spot for your bigger rolls of thread to go on. Smaller rolls of thread don't ge generally you don't need, but sometimes you've got big threads and they wobble about a bit. So you can put them on just on there like that and you'll be able to, um, they'll be able to stay fixed in a position. Now the nice thing with this model comes with a straight stitch plate as standard and that fits in the bottom of the accessory tray hidden away right in the bottom is a special storage spot for it um, and in the meantime I just generally leave ours in the accessory tray in its bubble wrap so that way we know where it is then you've got your plug-in bubbin sorry your plug-in buttonhole foot and it's got a new end and it plugs in at the back here of the machine. Um, let me just see what, just here on the side at the back. It's a little USB type connection and that would plug in and then you would attach that. So buttonhole foot, quite an array of different feet. So some of the ones you may have seen before, so the humper jumper as we call it. A sensor cue foot that is designed for this machine. Quilting guide. Some thread cone holders. You've got a, heaps more bobbin, uh, sorry, spool caps. Two large, two medium, and a couple of smalls. So always make sure that you try to fit the ones that match the size of your spools. So if you've got like a small Gudeman or Mettler thread, you'd be using the small ones. If you've got a large Gudeman or Mettler thread, the large, very large spools, you would use the larger ones. Um, heaps of bobbins. There's quite a few in here. We've taken a few out and used a few. But there's things like um, lots of thread nets. We've never used those. We get into those in embroidery some sample packs of um, needles all the usual suspects in here we have a plate removing tool and a screwdriver see so a screwdriver on the end and there's a little screwdriver that helps you undo the needle but um, the needle screw and we've got quite an array of feet I'm going to go through them in just a second when I can get them all out of the bag You've got a seam ripper, some Teflon feet attachments. If anyone doesn't know what that is, that's these little little things that look like tape. They go on the bottom of your feet if you need some extra help for a non-stick foot. Brush, you're gonna need that when we do a little bit of maintenance. And then you've got quite an array of different feet. Now, some of them have got the valley in the back and some don't. So you can only use your dual feed system with those that have a space for it to go into the back of the foot. So the S foot is a decorative stitch and maxi type stitch foot. Um, it, you don't need that. This is your per, like a perfect quarter inch foot that comes with the machine a little bit wider than normal because of the nine millimeter but you can see that it's got the space for the valley manual buttonholes whole foot this is your automatic one this is a manual one so you can use both again no no YDT Teflon foot and it's got the Teflon on the back again no YDT this is your R, one of your embroidery feet. This is the R. This is the floating one. It can be used either for embroidery or free motion quilting. So this is your B foot. So no valley in the back, so no dual feed on that one. We've got the J foot. Again, it need, it's got a, a position in the back for the dual feed to go in. 
This is a little bit wider zipper foot. So we've got a position on both sides for the jewel feed to go into and we can move from either side of the needle so that we can get on either side of our zipper. So that's different. And then we've got our D foot. Again, it's designed without the valley. And then we've got obviously more bobbins and our A foot is a little bit bigger on the machine. And it has the valley in the back for the jewel feed to be engaged to. So lots there. So you have all the different feet to do all the stitches on the machine. However, there are some stitches in there that use optional feet, like candle wicking and there's quite a few others. So they're always options that you can add to your machine for your creative projects. There's also a user manual, a user guide, and a sampler book of the embroidery designs plus other hoops, and other hoops and an accessory box for your embroidery unit to go into. And you have a soft cover for the machine as well. So that's included. So the um, accessory box is for your um, embroidery unit. The hoops, um, there's a lot of different things you can put in that, it's quite a large um, unit that is a supplement to your machine. The soft cover is designed so that it can go over the top of the machine um, and just be quite user friendly. There are accessory trolleys available for the Designer Epic 2 and um, they're available through our store if you would like to have a look at them. But user guide is uh, updated online and it's available on the machine. So when you've got this, this is a great one to read when you first got your machine, but it will change as the machine gets updated. Okay. So when we come back, uh, our next video will be on some of the features and functions of the Hatsana Viking Designer Epic 2. Thanks for watching.